Welcome back to Quainton. Appreciate it's been a while. Uh, pandemic kind of put the um, put the kibosh on the uh, 7715 project, but we're back at it now. We've got a new project on the go. You might have seen a couple of shorts. We've been doing this little Magnol O4 oil locomotive. Um, we were taking the tanks off and the boiler off the other day. We've got uh, a few bits on the go, getting this ready for taking the tubes out for boiler inspection, um, inspection by the in insurance and a plan of work. So I'll take you through what we're, what else we're doing. We'll have a look at the chassis and hopefully see you again. So you probably see, or hopefully seen the project already. This is a, um, a Bagnall shunting engine. It's quite an interesting little beast. It was used for, um, as you can see with the two sets of buffers for shunting some really low wagons in a, I can't remember what it was, a steelworks maybe. We'll find out. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's perfect for us. It was owned by a member who sadly passed away and uh, gifted it to the society. It's um, come up as a potential overhaul. So we stripped it down quickly, taken the boiler out. We're just doing a few bits and pieces to pieces to make absolutely sure that it's a viable contender for overhaul, but it's looking pretty good so far. So that's the project. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Should we do some team introductions? Meet Will. Hi, I'm Will and I like trains. <laughs> Hi, I'm John. <laughs> Let's meet Jonathan next. Hello. And for those that don't know already, I'm Ian, not Dave. So at the moment, the jobs are taking fittings off, safety valves, other bits and pieces uh, to be inspected. Next job is to take the tubes out. Hello, uh, dude. I am riding out the uh, boiler tubes, uh, ready for this uh, Roco to be. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, so you're just taking the the beads off the end here yeah just taking the beads off so as you can see i'm getting close to the top so i've got to be very careful um, we just want to kind of like just kiss the face as we're taking these off and then you can peel off the little bit that's left and yep off you go exactly yeah nearly there mate very nearly there nice i'll leave you to it thank you very much you can see where it's still got the beads that are rolled over the ends there john's been busy grinding those off and the next job is to take the uh um, oxyacetylene torch and put a little slit in each of those so we can collapse them down a little bit and get them cut out of the copper same the other end and then we can actually take the tubes out um, we can get inside the barrel at that point and give that a thorough inspection uh, the um, uh, boiler inspector will be here for that of course and give us a scope of work and then hopefully we're good to go do you mind i've trying to do makeup for these videos What are you doing, John? Well, uh, I'm just removing this uh, plug from uh, Dick's old engine, and uh, we we're about to remove the rest of this cladding, getting this uh, boiler ready to be rebuilt. Marvellous. So, uh... Oh, look at that. Love to see it. It's a great spanner. So we've got plenty more going on besides Scotty, which is our nickname for the loco we've just been looking at. We've got some maintenance jobs, some coach work, general bits and pieces, some operational stuff. We've got uh, Isabel here, who's kindly in on loan from the Epping Onga Railway. So we'll drop a video of uh, firing her up for a test team next week. William will be in charge of that, including breakfast on the shovel. We'll hope to see you again. Please like and subscribe for more. Thank you. <laughs> right, just start riding. What are you doing, John? Sorry. <laughs>